Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, you remember this engine. We pull it out of the one lawnmower. You know, I link in the description and whatnot. Today, we tear this one down, see what it's going on, see what it's all about. Check out some of the bearings, see if it's any good to rebuild, because not only did it burn oil, but it also sees on Mongo while out mowing the one day. So we want to take good look. And there's the model type and code, just in case you're curious. Let's start by getting this cover off. And got to get our air filter cover thing off. Slide the filter out. And way down there, one more little screw holding the cover down. And now we can lift that cover up out of the way. Yeah, we'll get this exhaust manifold out of the way. These are T45 bolts. So the torques. And then there's another 3 8 holding on that little bracket right there for the exhaust. And we'll get our intake system off. Now we'll have to disconnect this crankcase, crankcase ventilation tube. And way down there, it's easier to get off on this side. Just like that. Because that's kind of a bear to get out. Take these two bolts out. This whole intake and carb will be mostly free floating. You don't want to drop it because you still got your, your linkages here so we can slide our governor link out. Then we can unplug our sensor at the bottom. It literally just pops in and out. There's no re real retaining clip or anything. And then over here, we can swing this over and there's a little, this linkage has got a little Z. Get some engine oil drain in here. We're going to sift through that engine oil carefully, see if there's any shinies or metal or bearing material or other, see if there's any broken parts. And while that drains, we'll pull our dipstick out. Just got a little O-ring on there that holds on to it, so takes a little bit of pressure, but not much. And we'll get our starter off. These are T-40s. And of course, you still can't get to the other side. Luckily, though, it's a standard hex bolt as well, so a half-inch socket will get them. And we'll get our super fancy oil filter wrench. Well, with these intake and exhaust off, let's take a look. A uh, valve doesn't look too bad, a little carboned up, but definitely seen way worse. Look like head gasket might be blown. A lot of oil in between there. And the exhaust side, not too bad. Definitely seen way worse. And looking at this evidence here, you know, these cylinder heads this part and cylinders that part. Seeing all this oil residue and debris attached to that residue definitely look like head gasket blown. And inside here it doesn't look too bad at all. So we got our exhaust valve, our exhaust valve spring. Exhaust rocker, and then we got a push rod, and then our intake valve spring, and intake valve rocker, and intake push rod. One thing to note, you don't want to lose track of which push rod goes where. So one of these feels like steel, the other feels like aluminum, and they look different too. So the aluminum one goes on the bottom for the intake, and the steel one goes on the top for the exhaust. So don't forget how those go. And then remember which orientation goes to the inside of the engine, and then which one goes towards the rockers. Peel this guy back. Looks like oil was leaking in right here, through here and into the cylinder. So we want to spin this a little bit, see if we can hear any binding at all. Sounds okay. Feels okay. And check out our cross hatch. Oh, that still looks real good. No major gouges. A little bit of uh, piston slap going on there. Well, shoot. Mongo, uh, I think gonna just get a head gasket kit and put this motor back together. I'll pick up new head gasket from Ace. Their part number. Pick up for 19 bucks. And get new oil filter from Ace. Their part number. That one 12 bucks. Get all the surfaces cleaned up real good. 
got to be sure to, you know, get our TV here. So you got to clean up the valve cover gasket real good. And clean up the cylinder head real good. That way you got good new shiny surface to stick to. Just use razor blade to scrape off what you can, but be sure not damage or score the, the aluminum. And then use a red scotch bright pad. Get the, all the rest of the crummies off. And slide the new gasket on. Use the dowels there to hold it in place. Make sure all the holes line up real good. And we can slide our push rods back in. We can start threading our head bolts in. Cylinder heads get torqued to 25 newton meters or 18.5 foot pounds so when you put this on and you got the push rods in there it's always good and best to put those in when the pistons at top dead center so you saw when it went on the piston was way out at the edge that top dead center so once you get this torqued up in place it always good spin the engine make sure them push rods and valves open correctly so there's the exhaust stroke right there And there's the intake stroke. So then it should sit both closed for a while. So that way you get the compression stroke and then the exhaust again. And while you're in here, you can adjust these if you'd like. But Mongo pretty happy with where they're at right now. And we didn't pull anything off, so they shouldn't need anything new. And we get a little black RTV. And just run a bead along the inside of these bolt holes on this valve cover. Then this will just slide over the top. Always good to be sure your model number type and whatnot goes up so you can see it. But it'll go either way. It'll just won't say overhead valve anymore. It'll say something else. And these bolts only get torqued to 7 newton meters or 5.2 foot pounds. Put our sparky plug back in. Top cover support bracket. Side windage tray. The exhaust manifold, 19 newton meters or 14 foot-pounds. We can get our intake in, but we'll have to do our little Z cable thing. Slip back in and get our little breather tube back here on. Slide our bolts in. Now these bolts are 10 newton meters or 7.4 foot-pounds. And of course, Mongo was expecting a much worse situation, so it didn't have to take the starter off at all. So I'll put that guy back on, and we'll slide our cover on. Don't forget about the little screw way back there on the intake. And the air filter. Of course, that one, pretty nasty. Someday, Mongo will have to get a new air filter for this thing, but not today. And our cover. New oil filter. Always be sure to put oil on the ring. The O-ring. Just hand tight on your oil filter. Well, what do you say we put some oil in this thing, run her, and check for leaks? And I know what you're thinking. Only the best oil for this one. Yes, this oil is I don't know how old, but it's still, uh, she's going to be fine with it. That motor might love it. Who knows? I don't care. But you haven't seen someone use that type of motor oil or neck in a while. Let's see if this thing will run. Got a... Little 12 volt batteries so we can turn and keep the little solenoid on the fuel switch on. Uh, that one there's our kill switch and we got a little jump box. We're wired up to there and just clamp her down to the bench and we'll see if she runs, check for leaks. And then we got some fuel. We got a goofy do-it-yourself fuel tank just hanging out. Well, got no oil leak so far. Everything nice and dry as it should be, so that's a good sign, but only time will tell.
Oh, that's a good running little engine there. Guess Mongo was wrong, wasn't seized, just blown head gasket. Still running? Well, that's good. Now I got a nice spare for next year if uh, one of the other engines blows or something. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. So you ought to replace that gasket and on your mower engine if you ever have to. Mongo, thank you.